Shut up and sit down. And this is Hot Master coming back at you. Today we're going to be talking about a little stuff going on in the local brewing world. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about Sloop and what's been going on with them. And, uh, you know, the good point and the bad point of what they've been doing. And I, I feel like this happens with all places when they expand and they get big. Um, you know, a lot of stuff happens, quality falls off, and so what. But uh, let's, get, let's get started. So, you know, they've done so many beers, and this isn't even near half of them, but I just happen to have some cans here for, like, visual aid. So, you know, we had the Fantasy Nerd, which I really liked, but, you know, a lot of people were on one side where they were like, oh, this is a great beer, and then you had the other side, which is like, oh, this is cra crazy. This is just garbage. Uh, it was either too sweet or, or this or that. People, there was all kinds of ways that people were, you know, uh, explaining how they felt about it. Uh, very controversial. Um, you had this fantasy nerd. Uh, then you had the Mars Patrol, the New England IPA, which is a it's like a collaboration. There's a barrier brewing on here as well. Um, this was a good beer. I didn't really have any issues with it. Then this is one of my all-time favorites from them. Uh, you had Green Islands. Uh, the tropical IPA. This this is delicious. This is one of my all-time favorite beers. Um, outstanding. Then you had a stout. Um, this was a chocolate milk baked stout. Um, this one was it was decent. You know, for for a stout, um, it was like a lighter stout, not not like your usual heavy, hard hitting tasting stout with the flavor. But um, I did enjoy it. And then you had the Pixie Dust, which was also very interesting and pretty decent as well. But, you know, there's a similarity with all these beers. I mean, it, it look at this. 6%, 6.5%. Look at that, 6.5%. Another one, 6.5%. And... 6.5%. See the pattern here? Everything is under 7 or 6.5 for that matter, which is fine. But you gotta mix it up, guys. You gotta, every other brewery or place I've been to, they, they give everyone options. When you're, when you're trying to make a customer happy, you have to give them options. Options. You know, places you'll go, they'll have 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 10 10% so you get more of a selection but I feel like ever since this place got bigger you know all they care about is the money now that they've expanded they got to they're pumping out these beers so fast it, it it's not even funny um, 
we even um, a bunch of my uh, friends and I experienced one thing with uh, their Citra Bomb where it actually like oxygenated and just went completely bland in the can after uh, a few months. And, and uh, no beer should do that after a few months, especially in a can. We're not talking about bottles where light can get in. We're talking about a sealed can. So obviously they had um, a malfunction, but they were cool. You know, my friend said something and they, they hooked them up, you know, made, made, made up for their mistake. But I'm, I'm just saying, when you're expanding, stuff like this happens. But also at the same time, they're forgetting about, I think, what the people really want. I mean, you had this one beer, Double Plus Good. It was an 8% beer and it was delicious. It was great. Where is it gone? It's like one of the few, if the only, and you, anyone can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, high percenters that Sloop made. I mean, that's it. You know, and it, I, I don't think it's, you know, it's, it's not a right thing. And, and a lot of people on social media, on their, on their uh, like their uh, social media website, people have said stuff about it and, you know, it gets blown off. So either they just really don't care or for whatever reason, they're not going back to it. I, I don't know. I guess they feel like it's more delicate. It takes them a little more time, which it, it will. But I feel like they're being lazy in the fact that, you know, a, a couple more weeks here or there, or another week here or there, just to get the, uh, the beer to hit that or the extra grain or whatever it is that, that's making the process longer for that beer. They just don't want to deal with it. And, and it'll be slightly different. You know, the grain bill will probably have to be higher, um, but it, it shouldn't make that big of a difference. I mean, you can pump those out too, and you have a bigger system. You're obviously doing more than one beer at a time. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. So I don't know what's going on with that, what's holding them back from that. But I just wanted to get that out in the air because that's what's been going on with this place lately. And that's like what all the talk has been. Um, so I'm just going to leave on this note <clears throat> and say, Sloop, you really need to step your game up. You got to give the people what they want. And what they want is double plus good. Make it happen. Until then, stay hopping, guys. Hot Master out.